What? It's, it's coming this way. It's coming this way. While most people in the path of Friday's twisters in eastern North Carolina headed for cover, we decided we'd go out and see what we can find. And Ricky Matthews headed straight for the storm. And the second we got there, it already had a wall cloud on it, which is kind of a precursor to a tornado. Usually you have a wall cloud and a funnel cloud, and a tornado can drop if the rotation gets strong enough. But the UNC Charlotte meteorology student and former Time Warner Cable News intern spent 13 hours Friday chasing the storm. I think we ended up driving probably 500 miles. He took these videos and pictures. The cloud's actually rotating around. And look how low it is to the ground. If you ever see one of those, it's not a good thing because it's a pretty evident sign that there may be some very strong rotation and possibly a tornado dropping down later. Here's a look at some of the damage. Hundreds of homes and businesses destroyed, costing millions of dollars. Don't do it for the thrill. It's fun for me. You know, there is some fun into it, but it is kind of a serious thing for me. Matthews shared these pictures with forecasters before the National Weather Service issued a tornado warning. I was able to provide real-time information to them. I was able to tell the Weather Service the whole time what the wall cloud is doing, what it looks like, and it helps them, you know, warm better for this. He hopes it saves lives, but with more storms brewing, Matthew says he'll be back out. We're going to try to go out, uh, me and a few other meteorology majors once again, we'll probably try to go out Tuesday afternoon. Um, and then we'll probably call it off as soon as the sun goes down because it's just too dangerous and you're not going to see anything. Giving him at least a couple of whirlwind hours to study for his finals later this week. Sean Flynn, Time Warner Cable News.